guys, welcome back to ICSIS EQ. I am sitting next to John Michael Talbot, also known as one of the forefathers of the Christian music industry. So John, let's start from the beginning. How did you know that you wanted to be a musician in the music industry? I got involved with music when I was about eight and started playing, you know, in a folk group when I was 10 and uh, was in a rock group when I was about 12. Won the Battle of the Bands at the State Fair Contest, got a recording contract, and then by the 60, about 68, I guess it was, uh, we put together a, a group called Mason Prophet. We were at the beginning of what was called Country Rock, and it was all these folk rock bands that were bringing in country music and country instrumentation. And we did very, very well. We used to, we were known for stealing shows from all the name acts, which we did. Um, and then we begin to just see the emptiness of the whole thing. People that I had looked up to in rock and roll, you know, most of my life, I was at parties with them. There was a singer named Janis Joplin, mm -hmm. um, and she she was really she was really firing with all pistons in the music industry at mm -hmm. this point. And she was just the neatest lady. Uh, sweet as could be, hanging out with the bands, <clears throat> um, but she had to make it with a guy every night, and that rang pretty hollow to me. I went, well, gee, she has all this, and she's miserable, and then after concerts, I would look out across our, you know, we'd be in arenas, and I'd look out across the arena, and there'd be, you know, drug paraphernalia and bottles, and people passed out. And I just saw that one too many times and said, this is not what, what I want to do. And so I started looking into religion, looked uh, into all the different religions that I could find out about, Native American, Hindu, Buddhist, Taoist, uh, Christianity, because I was raised as a Christian. And then one night I was praying, and I, I received a very clear answer to my prayer. The prayer was simple, God, who are you? And uh, slowly but surely, I got out of the music business, got into being an organic farmer for a while. And I got back into music as a soloist, in on the ground floor of what later came to be called Christian contemporary music. Do you listen to any other types of music? Oh, I listen to all different kinds really? of music. Yeah, I listen to ancient music, ancient chant, you know, as long as it's good. Now, for those who may not be familiar with your music, explain mm -hmm. to everyone Describe it. Explain to everyone what it is and what you're trying to do with well, the sound. I've done a, I've done a lot of different kinds of styles. I've done the, the last two records before the new one. I, I was playing around with electric music again. It was kind of fun. Um, but I, I've done choral music. I've done neoclassical music. I've done uh, contemporary. Excuse me, uh, uh, meditative music. I think I'm best known for the meditative mm -hmm. music. And with what you're doing, why do you feel like it's so important? that message to go out to young people through music? If you're the real deal, mm -hmm. you can relate to people of any age. If you're putting on, uh, putting on a false persona mm -hmm. in order to reach young people or in order to reach old people. Uh, you know, I love kids. I, lo mm -hmm. I, I love little kids. You know, I love teenagers. I love, I love young adults. Um, as we get older, we get pretty practiced in how to be fake, hmm. in how to in how to be a person that we're not, in order to get along in life. Do you speak about that through any of your music, any mm -hmm. of your more recent music? Yeah, I do. I do. You know, Jesus says we have to be born again. We have to become a child mm -hmm. again. Now we're not supposed to be childish, but we're supposed to be childlike. And that, you know, the person inside of all of us wants to be a person of love and joy and peace and patience and kindness and so on. And as we grow, I believe, as we grow in life, we put that deeper and deeper within us and cover it up because the world is not always thus. Do you feel like your music opens people I up? So. I hope so. Mm -hmm. It has to open me up as I make it. And then, it, then I hope it opens people up as they participate in it.